So, hi YouTube, I'm back. Welcome to part two of the video, which is the fin finished braiding product. So, as you guys can see, I've got all the braids finished with my part out in the middle and then around my edges, as I showed you guys. I did the tucking technique, so the only braid that's out is this one sitting one, besides my part that I'm leaving out in the back. So, I'm just going to go ahead and tuck this guy up. Now, I've already got my needle started, as you guys can see. Um, it doesn't take much to tuck it up, or with the braiding technique, I told you guys I wasn't going to go all into excruciating detail with it, so I've got my one single braid tucked up. Now I'm going to use my Africa's Best um, Braid Spray and Conditioner. I'll just spray my braids. I just lay my tracks. And I cut them to the desired length. And I'm going to turn around so you guys can watch me sew it in. Okay, so hi YouTube. I'm just going to do you guys a little bit of the progress that I've made so far. Um, as you guys can see, I'm about halfway done. I'm still using the 14 inch. As you guys can see, it's pretty long. Um, so, yeah, pretty long. Um, I am, I don't know if you guys can see it, the lighting's kind of bad, but as I go around, I'm kind of curving the tracks up the more I get to the front, so it'll kind of give me a swoop. A lot of times when you do your track straight, they just fall flat down, so I kind of, in case I want to do a wrap, it gives it that nice, you know, swoop appearance. So, I just go straight across to the back, and then as I come up to the front, I kind of curve it in a little bit, and then once I get to the top, top, I just start layering it straight down. Um, so, this is the part of so far. I'm probably going to do well, I've got a little bit of 14 inch left, so I'm probably going to do about two more um, sections of track with 14 inch. And then I'm going to start layering in my 10 inch so that the layers will start to feather from here on out. Um, so, quick progress update. You guys can see it. It's pretty nice. It's so soft and shiny. That's why I keep petting it. I know you guys are like, oh, it keeps touching his hair, but it's so soft. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. So. Back to work. See you in a little bit. Okay, so hi YouTube. This is your girl, Angel Five One Five Twenty Ten. 
So I've officially finished the sewing. I've got all the hair in. You guys can kind of see everything is fully complete. So what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to flat iron the piece that I left out in the back as well as my pieces around the edges and then my piece in the front. So I'm just going to pull this piece up. I'm going to unbraid my hair from the back. Remember I left a uh, half an inch um, of my hair out in the back as well as on the around the two front edges. Um, even when doing a full closure I do like to leave my edges out because I found sometimes when you do a sew in and you do all of your hair up like all of your edges it will snatch them and I like my edges so I want to keep them in. So I've gotten the hair taken out. I'm just going to add a little oil screen right here. It's not my hair burning, you guys. It's the oil sheen or the flat iron. So, so I've got the back piece done, which as you see was a small piece, so I just took one little swoop. Just gonna let it down and Ooh, there's something stuck in the hair. Gonna take the piece from around the front edge out. And I'm just gonna flat iron this little piece right here. It's not laser science or rocket science, so I'm just flat iron really quick the pieces that I left out and then I will do my section up top. So, I've gotten that done down to my middle section that I left out as you guys can see this is the top part of my hair that I left out um, it is not a huge section it is a very small section but of course my hair is very poofy so I haven't had a perm in a while and I washed it and just blow dried it so I'm just going to break it into small sections and blow dry my hair So I just break it into about half inch sections. And when the flat iron through, I add a little bend at the end. For the tips of it.
you guys can see my gray hair. Yes, I work too much. Between work, school, and a husband. I'm a very stressed young lady. But I can say it is all well worth it. So, now that I've got the front section to my flat iron, what I'm doing is I'm supposed to do a little oil sheen in the top section. Um, to give it a little gloss. Today I'm feeling like a uh, middle part, so sorry, I got oil sheen on my head. What I do is I'm just going to part my hair directly in the center, and I'm going to make sure I make sure I cover my tracks really well. I'm sorry if I'm in like a rushing style mode today. Um, if you guys want a slow-mo tutorial on it, then comment, subscribe, please. And I will do more and better videos, but um, I look now. So I'm kind of just doing these for the fun of it or I do them in my two week wait cycle. So on to the hair now. So I've got the 14 inch at the bottom and the 10 inch at the top. So to curl this or give it a little bit of style, what I do is I take and split my hair right down the middle, get a little part and I will be curling the hair. Oh, got my curling irons. I'm just gonna grab some big chunks of it. Thank you. 